what is the British Touring Car Championship? Well, here at Motormouth, we're all about bringing motorsport to you and trying to make it accessible and easily understandable. So, with that in mind, we're breaking down what the BTCC Championship is made up of. So, first up, Tim's got the regs. Tim, tell all. Thank you very much, Harry. You join us over in the pits with Team Hard, one of the independent teams here. You have manufacturer run and independent teams. The race takes place over the course of two days. We have practice and qualifying on Saturday. On Sunday, we have three races. There are 10 race weekends over the course of the season in these lovely turbocharged machines. Harry, back to you. Thank you, Tim. So let's talk those all important points. So points are awarded all the way down to 15th place in a BTCC race. You get 20 points if you come first, 17 if you come second, and 15 if you come third, and then just one point if you come 15th. However, there is a bonus point up for grabs if you get the fastest qualifying lap, the fastest lap, and if you're leading laps in the race as well. So lots of points up for grabs if you're racing in the British Touring Car Championship. Right, let's talk grid positions. Race one, the order is decided by the qualifying results from the Saturday. Race two is decided by the finishing positions of race number one. Race number three is decided by the finishing positions of race number two. However, there is a reverse grid element. All the cars that finish from 6th down to 12th are put into a hat, a number is drawn at random, and that car will start on pole and everyone will line up behind. Right, let's talk tyres. I found BTCC driver and Motormouth ambassador Bobby Thompson, who's going to talk us through the tyre situation because I'm just going to butcher it otherwise. So we've got two sets of lovely brand new Dunlop tyres. We've got the prime tyre here, which is the medium. You can look at it as, as a medium tyre. Uh, that's got the yellow uh, banding around the outside. Now, they do these colourings for it to make it easier for the fans to see at the side of the track to see what tyres uh, guys are running. We've got an option tyre here that we're allowed to use this weekend for one race out of the three, and we also use this in qualifying. This is a soft tyre. So, real good tyre, lasts for around about four laps, and then after that, game over. Well, I think he explained it way better than I could. Cheers, Bobby. Okay, let me tell you about ballast. If you're successful in the British Touring Car Championship, you run with ballast, otherwise known as weight. First place carries 54 kilograms down to 6 kilograms if you're 10th. For races 2 and 3, your ballast is decided by the position you finish in the first two races respectively. We've also got big name manufacturers heavily involved in the BTCC. Big name car companies. You've got BMW, Honda, Toyota, Vauxhall and Subaru all racing around the UK on some of the most amazing tracks. And the British Touring Car Championship is, of course, not just made up of a number of interesting manufacturers, but a host of famous names. The likes of Jason Plato, Matt Neal, Bobby Thompson. The list goes on and on. And there, my friends, ends the Motormouth rundown of the British Touring Car Championship. Well done, Harry. Lovely job there. Well done, Tim.